Hi, welcome to my short tutorial on how to set up conversations and cutscenes inside of the Game Maker 0 0.6.9. Uh, here we just set up a small scene uh, with a button. Um, the button has nothing on it, it's just your button trigger. Uh, we'll go ahead and begin. So, first of all, we'll press L to bring up the library, change the categor category here to humanoid. So, we can bring up some humanoid assets. If you don't have any, click the marketplace button and you can add them. We'll go ahead and just pick two characters so we can use them for conversations and we can go ahead and rotate them so they're looking at each other. Hold shift to snap. And get rid of any behaviors on them and components. We don't want them walking around. We just want them to keep still and face each other. Excellent. Next, we are going to put a trusty numpad down and we're going to give it only the help components. So then we edit logic. So we've got a numpad with a help component. Um, here we want it to destroy. If you want the conversation to be repeatable, you just change it to reset. Um, it doesn't really matter here. Uh, here we can have zero as a death delay for our first one. And the instant death message will be whatever the button sends. So let's go back to the button. We'll edit the logic here. Uh, and we'll change it to convo.start. So it will start our conversation. So message to send. Convo start. And when that button is pushed, it will send it to this health component here, which will kill it. So we'll go ahead and put that as the death message. Fantastic. And we don't want to see the life bar because it's not important at this stage. All right, now we do want to send a message. So we're going to say, we'll do talk.1 and we'll do that to the tag and the message. Remember when you send a death message from a help component, it needs a tag to send it to. So you'll need to put that on both your items. Okay, so awesome. When we push the button, it will kill our health component. It will kill it pretty much straight away and start the conversation by sending the message talk one to talk one. Next, we'll bring out a help component, uh, sorry, a numpad, and we'll get rid of all the behaviors and components. And we'll hold shift, and we'll just drag it above his head of who we want the first conversation to begin with. Uh, then we go to speaker, and we can put in Hello, how are you today? Nice and easy, basic conversation. You can put whatever you want. The message it will wait for is talk one. And we remember we need to add the tag as well, otherwise it won't work. So we'll go ahead and add that tag, talk one. And if we edit logic, the auto hide display means how long the text will be up for. So if you want it for only four seconds, you put four. Um, you can make it so it only triggers once with the new version of the Game Maker. And it also has always on top. So if it usually clips between assets or walls, your text, and you can't read it unless the camera is looking at a certain way, uh, you can tick this and that should fix that problem. All right, so let's test that out. If we push the button, it will kill, and then we have our conversation. Now, as you see, it has the name of the asset in the text, so all you need to do is just delete the name, um, and you can also put a space bar in front. So now when we talk, it's got no name, it's centered, it looks good, and yeah, that's the beginning. Now, how do we chain the event? Awesome. So we'll go ahead and duplicate our health component with Control D. And we'll put it next to it. 
Now the message the first one sends is talk one, talk one. So we'll go ahead and make this talk one and talk one. So the talk one from the first pad is killing the second pad at the same time it's sending a message to the speaker component. Cool. Now we want this one to last as long as how long the message is for this speaker. So we're going to edit logic. We're displaying it for four seconds. So we don't want this one to die for four, until at least four seconds. Otherwise there'll be multiple messages at the same time. And we'll just change that to talk to. And the message it sends is talk to. And what we could do now is duplicate our speaker component. So we'll select this one, do control D, and we can drag it over our second conversation list. And we can change the message from talk one to talk two. And we'll get rid of this tag and put the talk two tag. Okay, so now what happens? This button gets pushed. It sends a message to kill this health component. This health component dies straight away. It sends a message to this health component and also to trigger the speaker. This health component waits five seconds before it dies. And when it does die, it will send a message to this speaker. So this speaker is... Now different conversation. So now when we push the button, it kills. Then it waits about four seconds. It kills the next health pad and then sends the message over there. As you can see, we didn't delete the name of the pad over here. That part does not duplicate. So we'll go ahead and delete that. And this is all you do. Now you duplicate the second one. The second one will send the message to kill the third one, which was talk to. So we'll go ahead and change the kill message and a tag to talk to. We can keep it for four seconds or five seconds or longer, whatever the case may be. Now, when it dies, it's gonna send a message talk three. And again, the same thing. You just grab a speaker component, you duplicate it, and you make the message talk three. And then the longer you want the messages to go back and forth, you just keep duplicating it and change talk two to talk three, talk three to talk four, and so forth and so forth. So nice and easy. So we'll go ahead and duplicate this item. And we put it over here. You can move it just above it if you want, just to see it until you're done. Okay, and then we just change the message to talk three. change the tag as well the most boring conversation ever but it's fine not bad um, now uh, we know that the name pops up so we we'll delete that now we don't want the pads over room so we see the invisible button so we go ahead and select the invisible button we don't want to see it once you're happy with it, you can stack them on top of each other so they're in the same spot. Um, and then you can put them underground or somewhere else where the player can't see them exploding. But here we go. So now we have a back and forth conversation, which you can expand nice and easily by changing the messages one by one. And you can change the timing. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any questions, just message me on Discord. I'm more than happy to help. Have a great day.